Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Alright, we're coming in with Power Book 2, Ghost, Episode 8, Drug Related. It, man, this was a Ooh. fire episode this week, man. I was here for it, man. Y'all here for it, too, because y'all already in the comments of last week's video talking about something where y'all at. We coming. Listen, we were not prepared for Yaz to be leaving us the way that she did. Aunties and uncles over here, we all like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Drew, we wouldn't expect <clears throat> anything about what Drew did and how he almost lost his life getting caught up in some bull. We weren't expecting that. We didn't expect the exposing of Monet and everybody else's business at the dinner table. Right. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> then Chef <clears throat> left us RIP yeah. to a real one. Like, yeah. Where did that come from? Right. But anyway, we're going to get to it. And then Carrie, as we untimely, wanted, we wanted timely, her to be gone anyway. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. untimely, timely as it is, yeah. R.I.P. to her too. what Rock said about her? Said with her overly sexualized age. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to hit it and we're going to get out your way. We are in court now and Jenny is trying to prove that Tariq <laughs> was the one that killed Jabari and Detective Ramirez. So here's her thing. It was like, we're not going to use the typical that we're targeting a young black person to re-kill Jabari and mm -hmm. the Detective Ramirez, and we need to get him off, off the streets. streets. So, Davis cross-examines her, and it's like, uh, Tariq is a straight-A student, he's in an Ivy League school, and he pursued custody of his little sister. And he was like, so does this look like <laughs> a killer? And the jury was <laughs> like, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, certainly the sister. Jenny comes back and says, well, I have a tape that Tariq is incriminating himself. And they was like, I whoa, object, whoa. Your Honor. We never heard anything yeah. about a tape. So the, ju the judge was like, come to the stand. And they was like, I didn't never know anything about a, a tape. This is a surprise it's, it's to all of us. It's an unfair surprise. It's an unfair surprise. So we need to hear the tape. So the judge was like, permitted. You permitted. Give the, the tape to the prosecutors. And... Uh, Davis, only you and your team can hear it and not your client. And I said, well, we can I'm like, you telling Davis that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we know Davis ain't going to listen to that. Now that court is over, Tariq is, uh, runs into uh, Ghost's estate lawyer. And Tariq was like, so my father put him, <laughs> put him out will for you to follow me around everywhere I go to? He was, he was like, like uh, highly unlikely. Yeah. He was like, I basically come and let you know that before your dad died, he put in the will that for Yaz to be adopted. No, first he told him he said Yaz has been adopted by a good family. He was like, what the? Patrick was like, what the fuck? Wait. He, he was like, I just won custody yesterday. He said, you also got arrested, arrested yesterday, yesterday. Which means she got put right back into the system and she's eligible for adoption right now. Yep. And so he goes to tell Tariq, well, your father put in the will before he died that if... <laughs> That is so strange. That if all of y'all are basically wiped out, is to protect Yaz by allowing her to be adopted, change her last name, yes. and close seal the, and seal the document so she cannot be found. So basically, the person that killed all of y'all ain't going to be able to find <laughs> her. And we was like, this thing is like getting really Le weird. Really real because, in time. Because you guys been in the comments saying that you think that Ghost is still, still alive. alive. But these different moves were... Him, the stuff coming like up in the, the letter, will, the letter, the will. Yes, it's almost like <laughs> every step step that Tariq makes, Ghost is there too. Boop. Yeah, Boop. Like, like it's in real time. But at the same time, you know the fruit of yeah. your loins. So. Yeah, true that. <laughs> true know, that. You know what your children will and will not do. <laughs> exactly. So I don't know if he's still alive. I guess eventually we will find out. Eventually. Well, we hope he come back and make that money. Huh? I know we that's talk right. about him, but not he didn't get his money. So now that he's done with Tariq is done with the uh, state lawyer, now he runs into Davis, <laughs> <laughs> and Davis was like, uh, "I need my money by tomorrow. You got 24 hours, or you're gonna end up being represented by a court-appointed court lawyer, lawyer that's gonna end up getting you 25 years to, to life. life. Good luck with that. <clears throat> yeah, good luck with that one. And as we know that Tariq at this point don't have the money." To pay Davis, and he don't have a and no connect, a, no connect, so he can make money to pay Davis, and so. he can't go but so far because he has an ankle bracelet. Well, we not gonna talk about that because Tariq goes everywhere. He goes a lot of places <laughs> in that. In that. <laughs> yeah, 
But back in the day, I can remember people that I knew was on house arrest. Be like, how is you over here at their house? But what they were saying is a certain amount it's of a feet. Window. Yeah, a certain amount of feet you can go. And for some reason, they knew how many feet it was to be at such and such oh, house, yeah. and they won't get caught. Because it gives them a little little vibration on the angle. Oh. So if you're getting close, they'll, it's almost like a zzz. Gotcha. You get closer. Zzz, zzz. <laughs> All right, now you got to get in front of the TV. You got to get in front. Of, you got to get in front of the camera. <laughs> you know. Don't ask me how I know. All right, so now since we don't have a connect to be able to get this money to pay Davis. So, Braden decided to bring in this dude named Sway that him and Trace be giving away. Getting their stuff from. So, Trace, I mean, uh, so Sweaty is pulling out his stuff. He got some some OG. And so, Effie is standing back off. <clears throat> Effie is standing back in the corner was like, what is this? where's the Coke? Yeah. And so, he was like, okay, we yeah, switched straight, to, straight to business. Okay. So, he pulls out the Coke and the first thing she do is she go and taste it. She was like, uh-uh. I don't know what the hell that is. And so Sweaty gets pissed off and like, I you tell Trace well. that my door is closed forever. I was like, well, what you F have this to do with it? And so Brayden was like, Effie, why in the hell did you do that? We need those drugs to sell. And she was and, and Tariq is gonna be heated when he find out. She was like, he gonna be even more heated when he mm -hmm. find out that you getting he getting product that's been stepped on. Now Monet walks in when uh, when when Diana, I guess she's eating a bowl of soup, oh, so and asks her, you know, what's what's your daddy and Drew been up to? Because I know one of them at least told you. And she was like, they don't tell me nothing. She was like, uh, uh, you and Drew are just as thick as thieves. Yeah. I, if your daddy ain't told you, I know he. But here's the thing about Monet, you are mean as hell to them uh, kids. Yes, she like, is. Like I mean, mean as a rattlesnake <laughs> to them kids. You think that an opportunity came that they could actually tell you something that they're not supposed to tell you, they actually are going to do it? Right. Why? What do they owe you? I mean, you are their mama. <clears throat> but why, why do they owe you something? to tell exactly. When you mean as hell to them. Exactly. So while she was talking, Monet's phone was just being blowed up, blowed up. And we see it was Dante hitting her up because he wants to talk. So, so talk to Diana was like, uh, who is that calling you? And she was like, if you got to know, it's Zeke's agent. So she storms off to her room and tells Dante, Dante, you need to stop calling me. And at the same time, we see Diana follow her down the hall and, and was hearing ear hear her saying, hey, you need to stop calling me and you need to leave me alone, Dante. So now we can see that Diana is putting together when she saw so that text, that D, is. that D on that text from last episode. Now, this guy name is Dante. But I'm sitting here like, you heard your mom say, I'm not the same person I used to be. <clears throat> This ain't what you want. And when I tell you things are done with us, remember that they are done with us. So right there, that should have let you know that, okay, even whatever she had going on, she will cut it off. But not Diana. Yeah. So once Monet left, Diana goes on a hunt now like, okay, I got this piece of information. Let me dig what a little else? deeper to find out what else I can find. So she going through their room, going through their drawers, and then she landed, she went in the closet and pulled out this shoebox, and in the shoebox was a Bible. And she looked in the Bible, and she found Zeke's birth, um, Zeke's baby picture. In Ezekiel, in the book yeah, of Ezekiel. In the book of Ezekiel. And, and the hospital name was in the front of the book. Yeah, and so she decided to call the hospital so she can verify when, I guess, Zeke was born. And I was and like, so, you doing too much. Yeah, so when she talked to him, was like, I need to know about a Zeke cross that was born in 2002. And she was like, what do you mean that that's not, not the, the year? year? So now Lauren is sitting and she's talking with um, Jenny because Jenny told her that basically because this tape has come up in court, you need to take the stand because they need an authenticated witness. And Lauren was like, you sure ain't yeah. nothing else we can do? I thought that the recording was enough. Was enough like because, I was doing my part. Yeah, so you know at this point, she don't want Tariq to see her taking the stand, you know, at, you know, after all this stuff's been going I down. Mean, yeah. Yeah, so she, so I feel so bad for Lauren having to go through this because Professor Ingram was the one that got her into Put this. All of this in motion because she trying to um, save her own A. Professor Milgram, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you did say April. Yeah. Why did we say that? Yeah, I don't, don't know. I, I don't know. 
So then we also see in there where the daddy kind of gave um, Miss Lauren a little jab to the throat, talking about some. You got caught with the pills in your room. At least your brother was high enough <laughs> that he didn't get, get caught with yeah. their stuff on it. And I was like, you need to stop it. Then the mama told me some, yeah, and then you left your good boyfriend for the boyfriend that don't kill this <clears throat> fine professor over here. Like, I'm Mom, like, your, your man yeah. right, right sitting here. Sitting right here. She doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> and he just looking like, I said, oh, y'all definitely are cheating on each other. Yeah, yeah for real, for y'all real. y'all are un- <laughs> unfazed by it. All right, so now... Tariq needs another plan because Sweaty didn't work out. Mm. So now uh, we saw Monet and Kane was talking because Kane was basically hysterical because he was like, I thought Davis was going to protect us. And Monet was like, he can't protect us. We ain't paying him. So at that time when they was talking, Tariq called and Kane was like, Uh -uh. "Uh, no, no, not with this ninja. And she was like, yeah, F this ninja, but But we we need need him." him. So then we see they end up meeting at this restaurant and they go in the back and Tariq has the plan of how they're going to get product. So all of them can get some cash because what we know so they can pay Davis. Yeah. So Tariq said, how are we going to do it? We're going to rob the connect. <laughs> and then okay, it was like, oh, impossible. Oh, impossible. That's not nah. going to happen. But when like, he told Tariq, he said, we need to hurry up and get this, this plan on yeah. before your low jack go off. I was like, I'm <laughs> So Kane was like, Mecca is not your your professor. He crazy. You he know, got security. Yeah, he gonna he, gonna he take down bodies for this right here. So Tariq was like, you gotta wait until I finish with the plan. Yeah. So Tariq said, he's not gonna catch us because GTG is gonna take the fall. And Monet was like, brilliant, yeah. So our hands get to stay clean. So Kane was like, well, we need the product, but the most thing we need, we need we, money. We right need now. the money. But I have a plan for that. But they never talked about what that plan was. We just flipped. He said we need a plan. But we need Drew But we on need it. Drew on it. And I was like, what the hell Drew about? Yeah, yeah, so what they need Drew for. So we see, and they flipped over where now uh, Kane was telling Drew that, hey, uh, this is an opportunity for you to take out a little guap. And he was like, I'm not going to fall for it this time like I did the last time. So Drew was like, okay, in order for me to do it, I got to be the one to take the shot. Kane was like, you take the shot? He was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah little B, if I can't take the shot, I ain't going with your plan. So now we see that Drew is going to be the one that has to take, take out little Wop doing this plan. And I said, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> if you can Because he off. get the revenge because yeah. little Wop done shot him. Tariq now is sitting in uh, David's office, and he's <laughs> trying to figure out how in the world was somebody able to get him on tape. He said, I ain't been around nobody talk or to it, talk to anybody that's been a part of this case. Well, Davis was like, well, I got, I got it on my computer. And so Tariq was like, well, basically, let me listen to it. And Davis was like, no, you got me effed up. <laughs> if you listen to this, if I press the space bar on this, it's going to ruin the my whole record, my firm, and everything. But let me go check on this dinner reservation first. And Tariq was like, this can't wait till after this? David stopped by And something. David said, and looked down at the computer, giving Tariq the nod that, that when I did. walk out of here, if you listen, you, you listen. listen you don't, you. Yeah. So, of course, Tariq listens to the tape, and now he, he hears, knows. he knows that Lauren had the wire on her to listen to them when they had their conversation about the book. So Tariq leaves out the office, and <laughs> here comes Mr. Sachs. Big Mouth Sachs. was like, I overheard you listening to the tape. Please let me know that none of the St. Patrick Patrick stuff is, about to, is about to happen. Because you cannot go nowhere near Carrie or Lauren. No, yeah, he said you yeah. cannot go nowhere near Carrie or Lauren, but he accidentally said Carrie's name. He was like, wait. So, Carrie has something to do with this? He said, well, like, she kind of got oh, caught yeah. in the cross. I was like, first of all, Sax, why are you telling all of this? See, Proctor because, would never. Because Sax don't know how to keep his mouth shut. Proctor would never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying, like, what? It was like, yeah, she got caught up in the crossfire. She didn't mean to snitch. But Ingram did this and she did yeah. that. And I'm like, dang. So yeah. now, Tariq got a, he already had this thing like, what is Professor Ingram up to? But now, now she, he is know. it Ingram or Milgram? Milgram. Milgram. And now he really knows that she's... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sick of these sex uh-huh. scenes with Sax and Jenny. Hey, but that's what we be getting all the <laughs> yeah, information. Yeah, get all the information. Yeah. So somebody got to take one for the team. 
So, in this particular one, Sax decided that he gonna kiss Jenny, and Jenny was like, it's bad enough that opposing counsels are sleeping together. <laughs> Arguing all day. Yeah. Bucking but, at night. But to be kissing, That's nah. That's intimate. And, but it looks like Sax want to be with her now. I don't said, know. Well, would it be so bad? They're forced to be together. But we don't care nothing about that. Yeah. So, she says, well, your client is about to be surprised about this tape. And Sax was like, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, know yeah, because his, his girlfriend. And she was like, wait a minute, how do you know that was his girlfriend on the tape? He said, well, I put it together. I put it together. I listened, I put it together. He was like, she was like, no. Nah. To retell you after y'all let him hear. Yeah. So she was like, did Davis play that tape for Tariq? And he was like, you know, I can't answer that. So he basically told her. He said, well, I didn't, I didn't play it I for him. I didn't play it for him. It's like, Sax, really? Really? So now she's in a frenzy because she thinks something is going to happen to Lauren now that Tariq know that it was Lauren that had the wire. Because people do disappear around Tariq. Yeah, yes they do. So she kicks Sax out and the first thing she do is call Professor Milgram and tell her, hey, Tariq heard the tape. And so... Now she's in a frenzy <laughs> so because she, Lauren is yeah. not in school. Yeah, so she runs... She comes back and after she, cause she was out, she ran out in the hall to take the call from Jenny. She runs back in and say, hey, I got a family emergency. And she rushes to Lauren room. But at the same time, we seen Tariq leave yeah. class. So she comes into Lauren room and Tariq come around the corner. She's like, oh, Tariq, you scared me. What you doing here? He was like, no, nah, what you doing here? How he get that at her? Yeah, he got there real <laughs> fast. So he was like, she was like, I was come here to check on, check on Lauren's safety. And he so, was like, me too. Me too. Um, so Tariq was like, you basically, you did, you put Lauren at risk mm -hmm. when you manipulated her to wear that wire. You know that when she wore that wire, that that was going to put her in danger. And Tariq was telling her that she not in danger from me, but from somebody else, which he could not tell her who they were. Exactly. So we know who they are. And Tariq was like, you always keep lying, but now you need to take the stand in her place. And... Professor was like, well, Jenny is not going to let me do it because I don't have no evidence of anything in the case to allow me to testify what Tariq said. You need to lie. Mm -hmm. So take one for the team. Protect yeah. your students as you always say you do. Right. So now this is your, your, now this is your opportunity for you to lie. So we see her come into court and she come to Jenny and be like, hey, where, where is Lauren? And Jenny she was like, chambers. she's in the chamber. She's safe. But she, Curry was like, well, she can't stay there forever. And this is when Carrie said, well, let me get on get on the stand. And she was like, and well, you don't, you, don't, you don't have anything. She's like, yes, I do. Yes, I do. She tells Jenny that I have I have prior knowledge of the book before Jabari got killed. And Jenny was like, well, did, if you knew this that? from the beginning, why do you even say nothing to, to clear your name? And that's when she used, I was protecting my student. Now we're in court. Jenny is questioning um, Professor on the stand. So she let Jenny know or the court know that Jabari told her about yeah. the book prior to him dying. So that's and why. Also, she, that he had confronted yeah. Tariq about the book maybe a couple of days before he died. Yeah. So she was like, when I got the manuscript from the police, it gave me motive that Tariq actually. Well, she gave, it, gave it gave her, her mo motive. Understanding that, yeah, yeah there that was a motive, motive for her. to kill Tariq. So now it's Davis' time to cross-examine her. And we remember from last episode when Davis came to her apartment and was saying that, you know, I should take you before the ethics committee because I can name at least four people that you've slept with in this case. So that's the very thing that he started yes. with. He was like, first of all, I have a question. <laughs> Were you ever in a sexual relationship with the head detective Whitman in this case? Um, it was a long time, time ago. He was like, yes or no. <laughs> then she was like, yes. And so he was like, well, and you had a relationship with a student by the name of Zeke Cross. So then Diana, who was <laughs> yeah. sitting in the audience, she was like, is in the court, is like, yeah. So this is the first time she's known about this, yeah. I guess. And the third person was with me, me, Your Honor. I had no idea he was going to use his cell. I was like, oh, So he asked her, so how many lies have you told to cover up your sexual relationship, but to be specific, your relationship with Zeke 
cross. <laughs> and she was like, um, uh, well. well. <laughs> so basically, he destroyed her testimony oh, right from, from that. So now... <laughs> he said, you need to go ahead and get your resume. Yeah, because basically because... you won't have a job after this. Yeah, because when he talked about... Um, he was like, what is the rule with faculty sleeping with students? He yeah. was like, it's very much forbidden. And why? Because pretty much, if an advance is made, a student doesn't feel like they have the, the right... To say to, no. ...to decline it because of the power that you possess in that position. Yep. Mm -hmm. So he was like, so... <laughs> I was like, Davis, you did that, bro. Yeah, yeah, you, you did, did that. that. Man, your boy Mecca What's was up? on one this episode for Shem. I had to rewind it yeah. back several times because I was like... Now, his energy was going to be off because him and Monet Nene yeah. had already got into their little kerfuffle. But why are you taking it out on Chef? Yeah. He's so, not taking it out on Kane. Right. Just Chef. Well, so, he in there, he got, he loading up guns. So. I was like, what, the, what happened? Yeah, so Kane was like, are you getting ready for war or something? You expecting war? What's going on? Yes. And he was like, you know, if you already ready for war... Because when war starts, you don't have time to get ready. You've already lost. So by this time, Chef was coming around. And he was like, didn't I tell you not to go in there? I was like, not to go in where? Chef goes all over the place. Right. So he was like, I was in there because I was trying to find the gun that you said you want. But I think it's in here. So Chef goes in and puts his finger to open up the, the uh, safe where the guns are at. And by this time, the power went down. So he told Chef, you need to go check that out. And Chef was like, no, no that's, that's you, Kane. That's a Kane job. And, <laughs> and Mecca was like, no, I, I told, told you to do it. And I was like, here we go again. And I was like, what in the hell? So did... Kane was like, is there trouble in paradise? Yeah. He, he was, was like, like, this is like far from paradise, far right, from paradise right here. Mecca, <laughs> what is going on with you, man? You giving us, you giving us light skin energy now? <laughs> you, giving us, you giving us the energy? <laughs> Mecca gets a call from one of his men trying to tell him that Basically, the hangar is being robbed, but by the time the guy was made to explain it, GGD had came in and shot him. All right, so now Mecca and Kane is getting ready to go down to the to the to the uh, hangar, and so when they was leaving out the door, uh, Mecca looked at Kane was like, "What's wrong? What's going on?" And <laughs> Kane was like, "Well, this power artist looks a lot like what I did with the GTG guy." So at that point, like, mm -hmm. this is when Kane was sowing the seed that this is GTG doing. So when they walked out the house, Kane ended up putting the deadbolt on so the door won't Little lock. Slime. And we knew that was so that um, somebody could get in. So somebody could get into we the house. We didn't know who at the moment. So downstairs, we see Brayden and them in the van, <laughs> his mom's van. I swear. <laughs> he asked Drew. Um, how long is this going to take? Because I got to have this van back to my mama by eight. Yeah, <laughs> so it was, it was Brayden, it was Bob, Effie, Effie yeah. and Drew in the van. So they see Drew, see Mecca and all them and leave. Kane leave. So this was their opportunity to, 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 up there. to get up there. So Drew, uh, so Brayden goes in and he distracts the person at the front desk by telling them that I'm going to sue you because this power outage is causing me to lose thousands of dollars. And dude was like, okay, yeah. okay, I'll okay. go back there and I'll figure out an easy <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that's some white stuff right there because yeah. he talking about something, I'm going to sue you for overloading the grid. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, that's, that's white stuff. So that gave an opportunity. So when he left, they gave an opportunity for the crew to, to, slide, on to up. slide on in. So we see that Effie had a job to do. So now we're kind of figuring out what everybody's positions are. Braden was the <clears> one <throat> to distract. Effie was the one that was going to go and get the keys, shut off the cameras. Yep. We have Drew and um, Guap that's going to be alone in the staircase. So we know what that's about now. And that Drew was going to be the one that was going to have to go inside of um, Mecca's apartment. I was like, okay, oh, okay now okay. we got it. So when Drew and them were walking up the staircase, little Guap was like, you know what? I appreciate you looking <laughs> out for us. You know, I know we got a pass and I thank you for making peace. And so I almost little, felt bad for him. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you don't even know. <laughs> so little Guap, you know, what's in his pocket? He pulled out a pair of gold grills said, and put oh. out a lot of money. And so Drew, you know, I appreciate this man. You know, this is for you. This is for you. It's and you know what, bro? I got your back, back up there. there. <laughs> I said, no, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> so by this time, Drew done pulled out his gun with the silencer on it to take out Guap. 
And the moment that Drew hesitated, I said, you know, you giving him an opportunity to smack the gun. You close to him, man. He, yeah, so you need to shoot him now. So Guap was like, okay, so it's like that now? So Kane puts you up to this? He was like, nah, this is all Yo, me. No, this is all me. <laughs> yeah. So Guap ended up knocking the gun out of his hand, and they tussled, and I was like, here we go. Gun Drew, goes down Drew is about ready to lose his life now. <laughs> I really thought Drew was out of here. But Drew was fighting his A off. Drew can fight too. Oh, he Drew was crazy. He, he, he gave up. Uh, when them eyes get bucked. Uh -huh, he gave him an uppercut and flipped him over. I was like, yes, sir. I told y'all. It's the crab one. That Drew is crazy as hell. He is. He that silent killer. Y'all, you got to watch out for him. I told you, like diabetes, man. And when Drew got that look in his eyes when he was on top of look on top of a uh, little guap and was choking him, I said bye bye. He gone. See you at the cross. But that was a close call though, man. That was yeah, close. Yeah, that I, was close. I, I, two times we almost lost Drew, Drew twice. <laughs> yeah, twice. <laughs> now Drew makes his way on into Mecca's house, and the whole time he was in Mecca's house, that we was uncomfortable. we were so uncomfortable because we remember Mecca said that he was going hunting when they were at the hangar. And I was like, oh, hell, Drew is back at the house. And I just said, knew he was coming back to their party. Exactly. So Drew goes directly to the closet where Mecca had that ring that he's going to give to Monet. And I said, damn. And the, and the moment that he grabbed the ring, he heard somebody come in the house. So he put the ring in, grabbed the backpack, and so he hid around the corner, and he looked. And it's Chef. That's Chef. We remember the reason why Chef was there, because back at the hangar, uh, <clears throat> when they was when they had killed everybody, uh, Chef had said, "Oh yeah, this is the GTG, GTG, GTG doing." And Mecca was like, "Ain't nobody asked you for your <laughs> expert opinion. Matter of fact, you need to go back to the house and, and get all, all the, guns. the guns." So that's why Chef was at the house. So Chef is there getting all the guns, and Drew is nervous. And I'm like, "You know what? Chef is gonna Going find to kill you. Drew." Ain't gonna kill him, or Drew is gonna kill him, and that's gonna mess up the plan because now Mecca's gonna try to figure out why when How I sent he, yeah. Chef back to the house and he ended up dead. dead. How that happened? Yeah. So not only did the hangar get hit, my place got hit. Yeah. So now Drew texts Kane and was like, "Somebody's in the house. What, what the, fuck? the fuck?" So Drew is still well. Kane is still back at the hangar. So Diana is calling him. He sent Diana the voicemail and act like it was Mecca. Told the dude that was at the hangar, hey, that was the boss. You need to go ahead and account for all the drugs that was taken. So this was his opportunity to go and, and save Drew. Out. So he slid by there, ran upstairs. He yelling, chef, 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 chef. Just and chef was like, why are you coming like, like the police? Like the police. <laughs> yeah. So that got Drew out the house. But we was on our edge of our seat the whole time. I was like, I was like, we ain't no time to be losing Drew now, man. Nah, because I Not thought my boy. That even when um Kane had Chef and was trying to convince him that, yo, boss said we need to do it. He was like, I, we, I just talked to boss and he didn't even say nothing. Yeah. Like, and Drew was sliding off to the back. I said, Chef, if you pivot just like this, you're going to see him and it's going to be over for yeah. our boy. <laughs> I just knew Drew was out of there at that yeah, point. Yeah, man, I did too. Because you, Ooh. we don't see Chef in action. He don't hesitate. Nope, no hesitation. So now we see that Drew you know, made his <laughs> way downstairs back into the mom van. Like, he is sweating yeah. profusely. <laughs> and they're like, what is going on? He was like, can you just drive? drive. Like, this is not an opportunity for yeah. us to have a conclusion to this. Like, we need to get out of here. Yeah. So now we end up at dinner as if... When no all was. the hell breaks loose. So <laughs> I had a cook. And, and Poppy was like, thank you so much for cooking and, you know, whatever. And now Diana has an opportunity to ask all of them. Where y'all been Where the fuck y'all been at today? Because everybody in this... See, someone is always president of the Tejada household. Yeah. Today, everybody been missing. Gone. So she's like, wait, where the hell y'all been today? So now we got to go around the table and we got to lie. Yeah. So now that Diana asked them, now she... Now Monet flips it on her like, where you was at today? And she was like, like I said, <laughs> I was with, I, I was at Zeke's game. Yeah. And Drew had said he was at Zeke's game. So Zeke was like, I ain't seen y'all. Because and um, Cause they have sex, a section. section set. And he was like, I didn't see you in the section. And so Zeke was like, I'm going to call the coach and get that straight. Because my little cousin got to be at, you know, in, in, my in my section. So then you got Kane was like, I know where Diana was at. She was around here sleeping around with that little skinny dude out to read the dude that's about to go to jail and whatnot. And she was like, why would you say something like that? And he was like, mm-hmm, you would. So then, you know, Poppy getting upset because yeah. you, 
this is the, the this girl. This is Princess. Yeah, that, that's my little Princess. She's not sleeping with nobody. And he was like, is that true? Like, you sleeping with Tariq? <laughs> like, we don't do that around here. Oh, so this yeah. is where it gets real good. And Diana spies back and say, well, you was the one that <laughs> sugared the coke. <laughs> so that you can become the connect. And, and Lil was, like, was like, is, is that, that true? true? <laughs> and Kane owned it. He was like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because you, when you came home, Papa, you shut me out. And Monet, Monet shut, shut me out, out too. So what so, was I supposed to do? Right. He was like, so you you manipulated and you pretty much did this against the family? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 that's what I did. Pretty much. He said, I had to boss up and do my own thing. But you over here cut it up with Drew. He shouldn't be your right hand man. I should be your right, right hand man. And he was like, and you always run in your mouth. I was like, God, no. I said, there's some skin going on at this table. Yes, indeed. So now, cool. now Kane pissed off, and now he reveals that Drew didn't take out Everett. And by and Zeke was like, Everett, my, my teammate. What? Why are you gonna kill him for? What are you doing? <laughs> Zeke was like, uh-uh, I ain't got time for this. I got to go. I don't heard enough of this. I, I got Monet. to go. I don't even want to hear this. <laughs> and Monet was like, oh, you sit your tail down because this is this is family business, but we ain't get to Zeke just yet. <laughs> Ooh, we got to say that for the last part. Ooh. So then Monet turns her sights right back on Diana. Was like, oh, let's talk about this you sleeping with Tariq things and whatever. And here come Diana. I'm not the only one. <laughs> in this house and sleeping with somebody that I shouldn't be sleeping, sleeping with. with. And I was like, wait, well, don't do this. Don't yeah. do this right now. And she was like, Poppy, mommy got a whole lot plan. Of, yes. She got a plan to leave you, get out of here, go after, <laughs> pretty much ride off of Zeke's coattail and it ain't got nothing to do with you. Mommy is sleeping with this man named Dante, Dante who is Ezekiel's daddy. daddy. Zeke said, that's not my no, daddy. That's my daddy. That's my daddy. She said, I called to the hospital. Here's a birth certificate right here. He wasn't born in 1998. I mean, in, in 2002. 2002. He was born in 1998. I said, oh, shit. Woo! So Zeke said, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Uh, so you oh, lied? You lied? So you lied. So now I'm 23. I'm, not, I'm 23. So that means I'm not eligible. So I'm not eligible. So the, N, the N, NCAA found out about this. I'm not going to be eligible. I said, I lie, and I want to lie. You the one that lied. I said, wait, 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 Z. That's all you care about right now? <laughs> you just learned that your whole aunt, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that you, we didn't say it, but y'all know that that part came out too. This ain't your auntie, this your mama. You, you, you bypassed all of that, and you want to talk about ball right now? Like, we not going to address the fact that you just found out that your auntie is your, your mama. mama. Zeke, boy, you, boy, <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. So by this time, Lorenzo is done. He was like, Mo, is that? Is, is Zeke your son? She was like, yes. yes. And he was like, so the no, father? And then Cain was like, so I'm not the oldest? oldest son? Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, so now that's all you worried about right now? You being the oldest, yeah. Yeah, so Lorenzo asked, so the father, Mo? And she wouldn't answer it. So he was like, you need to go. You need to leave. I said, first of all, Lorenzo, I ain't trying to be funny. You just got back here. Yeah. She been holding this household down while you been locked up this entire time. I know your money ran long, and it probably got this house. But she, why she? But she did. <laughs> so now I'm like, okay, so now when the hell is Monet going to go? This is the only residence that they got. So I know she's not going to run back to Dante. And she ain't coming down south with us. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't coming here. Nope. 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 I took care of Zeke all the years. I'm not. So you done. I'm done. So you ain't babysitting no more. Nah. Now we back at the hangar. And Mecca is going through and, and shooting all the guys to make sure that they were all dead. D-E-A-D-D. -D. So Kane was like, look like we got this taken care of. And he was like, no. Now we need to kill the inside person. And so both of him, uh, and, uh, Kane, Kane and Chef, Chef were, like, were looking like, huh? Inside person. So, so Mecca was going to uh, with a switchblade with a switch bait to Kane, and I was like, oh hell, said, they're Kane playing them backfire. Kane about ready to be taken out. We had no idea that Chef was gonna be even in this number. Right. And he slit Chef Nick, and we still back to like. What, what was the this hell? deal with Chef? So the only thing we can think of that the reason that possibly that he had it for Chef was like we said that when Chef had came out of we think was his room where the ring was 
scared. I told you not to go in there. And now so, the ring is gone. And then when you went to the safe and to get the guns, as soon as the safe opened, the power goes down. So it kind of do kind of look like you got a plan in motion. And then when we was in the hangar, you was like, oh, no, this, this is, is GTG doing this. And now the ring that you knew where it was is now gone. Yeah. So now... And it doesn't look like a robbery because nothing else was missing. Now, Mecca kind of throws a little curb out at us. So now, he looked at Kane, was like, you roll with people for this long time, and now you don't know what they would do basically behind your back. You don't always Sometimes know people. Sometimes they surprise you. Yeah. You know about that, don't you? And he was looking at Kane like, I know this was your plan. But I but had I, it off him anyway. Yeah. And I was like, Kane. So do y'all think Mecca knew that that was Kane's dumb plan in motion? And yes. he just he just Please. kept Kane alive because he's Monet's son? Please answer that in the comments. Yeah. Now we are over at Carrie's house and she over there drinking wine. I hope it's Taylor <laughs> She right. needs Taylor Port She needs some support. This. And she gets a text from Dean Wan that I need you to come to work early tomorrow because we mm -mm. need to talk. Mm -mm. So we uh, uh don't don't call me in early to find <laughs> yeah. me. Find me doing regular business hours. <laughs> Matter of fact, do it on Zoom because I don't waste my gas money. And we see that Zeke sent her a text said, "Hey, can I come see you?" So by this time, we hear a knock at the door. I said, "Oh, he found." So I was like, "Wait a minute, this either Zeke, Detective Whitman, or Monet." Monet. So we ding, see ding, ding. it's Monet. So Monet walks in the house immediately and says, I lost my whole family tonight. And I said, so what y'all about to have a kumbaya yeah. moment? Like And Carrie was like, I understand because I just lost my whole career. And And my credibility. Yeah. And Monet was like, Was it behind sleeping with Zeke? And she was like, like Yeah. Yeah. And Monet tells her, well, as long as well, you... Well, she asked her first, have you been talking to Zeke? That's right. Have you been and talking to Zeke? she was like, I haven't been talking to him much these days. And that's where she was like, as long mm -hmm. as you're in the picture, he ain't never no, gonna come back to me. And I was like, what you... So I was like, does this mean that you get ready to kill Carrie? Because she warned Carrie. The last time she, she warned did. Carrie was in the car. And told Carrie, if you go around Zeke one more time... It's your egg. Yeah, you turning up missing, basically. You getting killed. I'm, I'm taking you out of here. Mm -hmm. So we thought she was either was going to kill her or bait or use her. Or use her to bait Zeke in. So that she can actually talk to him. So we see Zeke coming up the staircase in his tracksuit. <laughs> it was Gucci, but it was ugly. I'm sorry. And Zeke walks into Carrie's house and see her home. So I said, well, dang, Carrie. We wanted to see you gone, but that that hurt my heart too. That ain't hurt my heart because she knew what she was doing, man. She she basically got herself and she got herself killed. And I I had asked my I asked her I said so I wonder how that's gonna be now because she took the stand and now they're gonna find her. Dead. Now she's dead. I don't think it's gonna go any further than what it is because she has so many things stacked up against her that it does look like a suicide. It does. It looks like okay. Davis already said you need to go ahead and get your resume straight because now everybody knows that you were sleeping with a student. Yep. Then we have the text message in electronic form mm -hmm. that Dean Wong was like, come here early, which is put in motion that you're about to get fired. And now she hung. Yeah. It looks like she committed suicide. But the only thing I hope that Monet took her phone because Zeke texted her. And said, "Can I come see oh, you?" Oh yeah, and but that it don't put, matter. It that don't put matter. Zeke. That put Zeke. Because you remember, Detective Whitman was trying to pin the murder on the two murders on Zeke. You remember? Yes. So now that Zeke is over there, Carrie is hang hung. So now can they take this and put this on Zeke? That Zeke had a motive uh, to take her out. You got a good point. Or is Detective Whitman gonna spin it that way? I can't stand him. Let's yeah. <laughs> that's, that's him be the next one. But yeah, I can see that now Zeke is most likely going to be pulled in closer into this because he walked in with her being home. And you know he's going to call the cops. Yeah. So you know he's going to call the cops. Zeke's career, unless they continue this lie, but at some point, even if he goes pro, that's going to come back. Yeah. When they start digging, because of course they will dig, then you're going to... Monet just bucked him up too. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing, you you could have not even lied about that part. Yeah. Real fact. So now you got this 23 year old. He already a little on the on he really he, he's special. And now he's 23 <laughs> and he was freshman. Is he a freshman? Yeah. I don't know. Come on now. 
we stuck with all these loose ends. So now that Lorenzo done put Monet out, <laughs> where in the hell she gonna go stay? Oh, uh, she's gonna go over to Becca house. But here's where I, this is where my mind goes. Okay, Becca doesn't live with so many people um, in close. Yeah. But Kane is one of those people. So if she goes over there to Mecca house, Mecca, <laughs> it's gonna be Mecca, Monet, and, and Kane. Kane. And then now you gonna have Kane and Monet knowing that. I know what you did. You do did did did. did. It's a lot. <laughs> so now everybody's tr everybody's coming into the triangle when it was just like this at first. Now oh shit, my connect is Dante, Dante Mecca, Monet, Dante Mecca. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> also, we got this ring that Mecca was planning on giving Monet, and that they turned around and gave this to Davis. So now is Mecca going to find out about the ring when Davis go to pawn it? Mm -hmm. that, that's said, a tangible item. Yeah. Like it just doesn't disappear. Even if you get it melted down and the, sell the, the stone out of it separately, like it can be traced. Like at some point, something that special yeah. you're, you is going to be found back. out. Yeah. Back. There was a little piece in there that I'm not sure if I'm correct or not. But Effie was only able to cut the cameras after getting on the inside. Right. They were on the inside already. Yeah. So is that going to come into play where there is going to be a reviewing of the tapes and see Brayden, um, Effie, yeah. Drew, and all of them in the lobby? Or did she erase the... Because we didn't I see any of that part. Yeah. And when... Because you remember when Chef went back to get the guns... The safe was lit up where he was able to do his finger, which means the power was on. Yeah, it was. The it power. was. Yeah. Now that Lorenzo knows that his wife has been sleeping with another man while he was upstate, what, what is he going? What is he going to do about it? He shouldn't do nothing. So now I think we all been waiting for this war between Mecca and Lorenzo, and I think when Lorenzo is going to go and start trying to find out. Who is this Dante dude? And realize and, that it's one and the and same. And you'll find out that it's Mecca to connect. And that's when all that's hell... That's when all hell gonna break loose. And then yeah. we're gonna be ready for Tommy to come with his crazy shenanigans. Heck yeah. 